welcome back to another video my name is sparkman and uh, as you can see i had the flu everyone gets the flu every so often okay but uh, nonetheless we're going to make this video so today i want to talk to you about uh click team fusion 3 and um is click team fusion 3 dead is it now well uh according to a statement by uh click team i believe this is from click team um they have stopped the production of uh, Click Team Fusion 3 to concentrate on Click Team Fusion 2.5, which they already have. But guys, this is not just Click Team Fusion 2.5 all over again. This is Click Team Fusion 2.5 and and uh, DLC or something. Plus DLC. There you go. I haven't seen it because, as you know, I'm banned from Click Team Fusion. So how did I get banned from Click Team? Okay. Um, very simple. Just um, speak your mind at the forum. <laughs> All right, they don't like that. So basically, if you get banned from the forum, you get banned from using the software. Luckily for me, I only bought the um, well, I bought the Games Factory Two back in whenever, and uh, I think that was 2011. Uh, and then I bought the. Uh, then about Fusion, and after that they gave me discounts and free serial numbers uh, to use in my channel. Okay, so, and that's because I used to make a lot of Click Team Fusion videos before. 2,625 videos, to be exact. Okay, so be careful at the forum not to get banned. Uh, here are some ways you can get banned at the forum. Okay. Uh, number one, you can ridicule, you can ridicule one of the moderator's uh, friends. Okay, or boyfriends, boyfriend tag. I mean, like they can be boys and friends, I guess. <laughs> uh, now you have to be careful with the foreign rules because uh, uh, the moderators make them up as they go. Okay, so you kind of have to like uh, download this new software uh, for reading minds. Okay, uh, it, it works really good. You should try it. So in order to use it, you're going to need a. Um, uh, mind reader 2.5. Okay, so you can read the mind of um, is it Simon? <laughs> I can't remember. Some guy there, right? So uh, rule rule number two is pretty much like rule number one, except for you have to add "don't be sassy" to uh, the 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 moderator's uh, friends. <laughs> and rule number three is. Um, Pretty much rule number one and rule number two combined, except for this time you tell them to go themselves. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, bottom line, guys, uh, don't be saying anything on the forum, so you might get banned, and you will be banned from using the software. And that's because you can't download the software unless that you're part of the forum. Okay. So, so yeah. So be aware of that. Don't be sassy at the forum. Uh, be an obedient sheep. So the bottom line is that uh, if I think somebody is an idiot, I will tell you, you're a an idiot. I unfortunately have no restraints. Because that's the nature of the Sparkman, okay? So. And I told him if you don't like it, you can go yourself. Man. Uh, pardon my French. It's not even French. Ça c'est français maintenant. Moi je parle français. So back to the DLC. So the production of Fusion 3 has been stopped. Uh, so according to my reports, uh, Click Team has to stop making Click Team Fusion 3 to concentrate on Click Team Fusion 2.5, which already exists, but with the bonus of the 2.5 DLC pa patch or something. What is, it? is it a patch? I think it's a patch. I'm not sure. But is this the end of Click Team Fusion 3? Is Click Team Fusion 3 dead? Is it now? According to a new report, Click Team will resume Click Team Fusion 3 in 2020. That's like a. That's next year. Now, I don't know if that means that they will release Click Team Fusion 3 in 2020, or this means that they will resume production of Click Team Fusion 3 in 2020. I actually have no idea. Because I can't check the forum. Okay. But if you go to the forum, you run the risk of being banned. Do you want to be banned from clicking? I don't know. 
And some people will say, I don't give a shit because I use a construct anyways. Now, is construct a better software than Clicked Infusion? In my opinion, and this is just my opinion as a game developer, okay, I can't speak for everybody, but I do find Construct 3 a lot more intuitive, okay, a lot easier to use. My games don't crash as much, and um, I think it has better tools, and um, Infusion probably needs to catch up to Construct 3. Now, in terms of creativity, of course, just because a game engine is better, doesn't mean that you're going to make better games. If you're a crappy game developer, it doesn't matter what game engine you use. Your games are going to be crappy. Unfortunately, uh, clicking, clicking attracts a lot of really bad developers, um, including me. <laughs> okay, my games didn't actually get better um, until I stopped using Click Team Fusion. Okay, and uh, maybe it was a good thing that they banned me because uh, ever since I noticed uh, my games keep improving and getting a lot better. Maybe there is something about the software that um, restricts your creativity. I have no idea. I can't speak for everybody. But uh, from my own personal experience, I do find that uh, uh, there is some certain clunkiness to the um, to the game engine that um, I don't feel when I'm using Construct 3, Unity, or Unreal Engine 4. Actually, I find Unreal Engine 4 a lot easier than using Fusion. I mean, it could just be me. Now, one thing that uh, bugs me about uh, these 2D game engines like Construct and Clicked Fusion and Game Maker is that they're, they're sort of crappy game engines and they're so goddamn expensive. Well, actually, um, now the only one that I think um, is worth paying money, it's uh, probably Game Maker, um, but I do think Construct should be a little cheaper. And Fusion, in my opinion, okay, because it's so crappy, it should be free, or at least I don't know, like, okay, maybe not free, but you know, it should be a lot cheaper than what it is because. You gotta remember, guys. At one point, this offer was uh, four hundred and ninety-nine dollars, or what? The, oh, three ninety-nine. It was three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Okay, kind of pricey for a two D game engine, if you if you ask me. Okay, that's just my opinion. Okay, I keep saying this is just my opinion. <laughs> I'm just giving you guys a um, my opinion as a user. All right, I'm not saying there is anything wrong with Fusion. You can make just about anything in Fusion, right? Don't think you can. I don't think there is anything on 2D that you can't make on Fusion, except for swinging and um, uh, there's there's a couple of things that Fusion can't do. Okay, for example, one of them is a uh, rotate the screen. There's no freaking way in hell you can rotate the screen on Fusion unless that you use some sort of plugin or something. <clears throat> Another thing Fusion doesn't do it's um. Um, now another thing you can't do in Fusion, you could, but it's kind of difficult, and it's to create ropes for swinging back and forth, okay. Uh, vectors, I did find it uh, difficult to work with vectors in Fusion, okay. Collision masks and shapes and all that kind of stuff, right? Oh yeah, it's okay. But anyways, so that's what's happening. So in conclusion, guys, so Fusion 3 looks like it will be resumed in 2020. And as I mentioned, I'm not sure if they're resuming the production of um, Click Team Fusion 3 or they are actually releasing Click Team Fusion 3 in 2020. Now, that could be that could be December 2020, which kind of makes it like two years, really, right? But it could be 2020 in January. We, we don't know. Who knows? Who knows those things? They might change their mind. I think the software is being developed by just one guy. Um, if you check his channel, you notice that uh, it's just one person. Okay, there could be more. I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, is this, I'm only... Like I said, I'm only talking from my perspective, okay? So I, I, I'm not informed of these things because... As I mentioned, I am banned from the forum. Okay, I can't read the forum, but you can. So there you go, guys. 
uh, Fusion 3 might come out. Uh, another complaint that I heard about uh, Fusion 3 is that um, it's actually not even Fusion 3. They're building Fusion 3 on top of another game engine. All right. It's a free it's a free open source game engine or now a lot of people disagree with me that it's a game engine and they like to call it um, uh, framework. I think it's Atom. I think it is Atom, the Atom framework, which which is already built. OK, it's already made. So so I guess click team is making a bunch of shortcuts to all the commands. Which is good, uh, and I guess that's all Click Team Fusion is. A bunch of shortcuts to actual code in the background. To allow people that have no coding experience to be able to create games. That's all the info we have about Click Team Fusion 3. Is it dead? It looks like it's dead for now. But it's coming back to life in 2020. Alright guys, so don't forget to smack the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Now check out my new series about creating a platform game in Unreal Engine 4. Super easy. Guys, Unreal Engine 4 is free. And actually, you can use a Construct 3 for free. And I, I wish I could say that for Game Maker, but uh, Game Maker, you kind of have to pay. But it's not a bad game engine, I'm just saying, you have to pay. And lately, I'm not liking the whole thing, you have to pay. Because um, Unity is free. Unreal Engine is free. Game Maker should be free. That's just my opinion. Alright guys, don't forget to smack the like boy. I already said that. Crap. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.